Hi, good day everyone. My name is Jelle Mae Franklin, a fourth year nursing student from Notre Dame of the Jungas University. In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about the Sunrise Model created by Madeleine Leininger in her Transcultural Nursing Theory. The Sunrise Model is a conceptual visual guide that shows the interrelationships of culture, care, diversity, and universality theory. It also illustrates the major components of Leininger's theory. The model illustrates the factors influencing care. These factors are very crucial in delivering culturally competent care. The model is a valuable guide for doing cultural logical healthcare assessments of clients' health needs. An integral part of the model in a theory include cultural care meanings and practices. Let's talk about the model structural level one. The level one here reflects the one's worldview on cultural and structural dimensions, while level two here represents a multifaceted person affected by different factors which include technological, religious and philosophical, kinship and social, cultural, values, beliefs and life ways, political and legal factors, economic and educational factors. It shows that a person is a product of a complex environment which in turn forms a person's culture influencing a person's way of living and thinking. Moving on to level 3, level 3 here represents the health and it provides information about folk and professional experience. Here, the folk or generic system includes the client's traditional beliefs and practices and health while the professional health systems are those nursing practices learned cognitively through a formal and professional school of learning. The combination of the folk health system and the professional health system meets the biological, psychological, and cultural health needs of the patient. The nurse then acts as a bridge between the folk or generic care and the professional system. The level 4 represents the nursing part and this depicts here the three modes of nursing decisions or actions basically. The first mode is the cultural care preservation and maintenance. So here it includes assistive, supporting, facilitative, or enabling professional actions and decisions that help people of a particular culture to retain or preserve relevant care values so they can maintain their well-being recover from illness, or even face handicaps or deaths. The second mode is cultural care accommodation and negotiation. And here, the nurse negotiates, negotiates with a client or the family for culturally congruent, safe, and effective care for their health, well-being, or even to deal with illness or dying. The third mode is the cultural care repatterning or restructuring. This refers to the nurse's actions and decisions that help the client and a family in changing their lifestyle for a new and different patterns that are culturally meaningful, satisfying, or supportive of a healthful life. The strengths that I can see from the theory and the model is that it can be applied in many different settings. It is highly generalizable because the concepts and relationship presented, presented are at a level of abstraction which allows you know them to be applied in many different situations as for the conclusion cultural knowledge really plays a final role for nurses on how to deal with the patients to start it helps nurses to be aware of how the patient's culture and faith system provide resources for their experience in illness suffering and even death it helps nurses understand and respect the diversity that is often present in a nurse's patient load Finally, using the cultural knowledge to treat a patient also helps a nurse to be open-minded to treatments that can be considered non-traditional, such as spiritually-based therapies like meditation and anointing. Nowadays, we nurses, or as future nurses, we must be really sensitive to our patients' cultural backgrounds when creating a nursing plan. This is especially important since so many people's culture is so integral in who they are as individuals and it is that culture that can greatly affect their health and their reactions to treatments and care. 
With these, awareness of the differences allows the nurses to design a culture-specific nursing interventions. Through Madeline Langer's theory, nurses and as future nurses, we can observe how a patient's cultural background is related to their health and use that knowledge to create a nursing plan that will help the patient get healthy quickly while still being sensitive to his or her cultural background. That would be all. Thank you very much.